the second part of my millipede care video series. This time it's going to be on the feeding of them. What I've got is three examples of what you can feed them. Just cut up bananas, mushrooms and lettuce. Don't use iceberg. Okay. But you can also use tortoise pellets, cucumber, stuff like apples, pears, plums, anything really that's just not um, toxic to any other species. And then I'll look, that's what else. I think you can feed them on beetroot as well. Um, cabbage and carrots you can feed them. Well, anyway. So you can only feed them as much as they'll eat within three days. You get, that gives them a day to rot. So I just finish cutting all of these up into small pieces and just wash them to get rid of any pesticides which can be toxic to your pets. So, and I'll also get calcium and these pellets that I've got from a pet from a cob blooded in Raynham. So, yeah. I've washed all the food. Uh, what I'm going to do is add this dry food, which is just made out of just vegetation and fruit in pellet form. Just wet it down, cut it in half. You just wet it down. It's given to them, they're meant to love it. Also, I've got calcium, which I dust their food with. Just give them a nice, healthy exoskeleton. So Quickly break these, wet them down, put them on this. Bloody torch works. There we are. So the torch does work, so moving on. Put the food in. The food this is just some, just say, waxworm tub lid. There's Amber right there. I've also named my new millipede. Her name's Roxy now. So. So no need for suggestions. Just no one and use Gobi, stay away from the glass. Okay? Anyway, stay away from the glass. Stay. Stay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do this. So anyway. The water bowl, which have got lots of crap in it. It's just filled up a little bit so they let them drink. Something that I did mention, didn't mention in the last video, is that if you want, if you want to get babies, do not clean them out. You don't have to clean them out ever, actually. Only if there's mites. Well, anyway, millipedes have got mites on them, but they're brownish colour. They've got a symbiotic relationship, like. A clownfish has with a sea anemone, so helps them get to keep clean. But if you see white, it also fights off the bad ones, which are the white mites. So that will help. So do not brush them off. It's also a lot stressful for the millipede than keeping them on. So that's the end of this series so just basically keep the tank clean just keep keeping the food every day keep it on the soil substrate walk bowl hide they're hard to kill actually they're pretty hard to kill so so they're one of the simplest pets to actually keep so yeah goodbye